Well, the decline in the market is aggravating a tad bit because the mid-cap index is down about 100 points and pull-up by SBI. That one has seen a sudden knock in the last few minutes and even the entire PSU banking space coming under a bit of pressure. So you can see the mid-cap index uh, closing towards the low point of the day and a sudden knock coming on SBI as well. But from the broader market, one stock that is on our radar is Kaveri Seed. Remember, there were talks about some suspension of license, etc. The company also held a conference call today and Sonal Bhutra joins us to tell us the t uh, key takeaways. Sonal, over to you. Thanks a lot for that. And yes, it was a very interesting con call. J just talking about the financial numbers first, they were very weak on a year-on-year -year basis. And the company said that this weakness was led by lower rainfall and also a lot of other factors. And that is why there was a decline in revenues and profitability overall. Also, the company says that they have a cash uh, cash balance of around 400 crores in their books and they might take up more buybacks in the coming future. But the main point was the Andhra Pradesh government uh, suspending their license plus of other 13 companies on the HT cotton side for a period of one year. So the company said that they have received the show cause notice from the Andhra Pradesh government and they have replied to it. Also, they're expecting some resolution in the next two to three weeks. They expect to get back their license in a small period of time. But the important point was when the analysts asked them that wasn't it prudent on the part of the company to go ahead and inform the exchanges. Actually, everyone was asking and confirming whether there has been a show cause notice issued to the company. So they said uh, that they did not inform the exchanges because first, they do not think it is very material. Second, it was already there in the newspaper, so they did not find it very important to actually go ahead and inform the exchanges. Also, they say that total revenues impacted due to suspension of this particular license would be around 5% of total revenues. Also, that they are not they do not have much exposure to HT cotton seeds on the whole. But they say that they will not be able to sell in Andhra Pradesh till the time they get back their license. And also that uh, the sales in that particular state start from the month of July. Uh, overall, basically, they said that they cannot comment on why they did not inform the exchanges. So that does raise a corporate governance issues on part of the company. Uh, additionally, on the Monsanto case, they said that they do not have any dues or any litigation pending with Monsanto. So overall, in terms of financials, uh, the performance was weak. But this commentary definitely is something that we'll be watching out for. All right, Sonal, thanks very much for that. Um, keep an eye out on the market, actually, because a couple of heavyweights are now really dragging. So ITC, TCS, HDFC Bank, SBI, these are all stocks which have swiftly moved down to the lows of the day. And if you pull up the contribution chart, you'll see that, uh, uh, you know, just a combination of TCS, Reliance, and ITC is taking away about 40 points from the Nifty. So the Nifty is now down about 60, 70 odd points. And the bulk of that is actually coming from weakness in just three stocks. Stocks at ITC, TCS, and Reliance. But other than that, uh, you know, Adani Port, Sun Pharma, Maruti, Suzuki, Tata Motors. I mean, uh, you know, you take your pick, actually, a lot of the stocks seeing big losses. But we're out of time on Midcap Radar. We'll end the show here with the promise that we'll take up the market action with your stocks when we return. Stay tuned.